The CLR Windy City Classic is brought to you by Atonic, the official footwear of the PBA. Atonic, first one there. By Prescription Flomax. By CLR. CLR, all kinds of dirty, one kind of clean. And by the United States Bowling Congress, ensuring the integrity and protecting the future of the sport of bowling. Bowl with us. For the sixth consecutive season, Hawthorne Lanes has hosted PBA event. It's the CLR Windy City Classic as we take a look at our matchup. Number two versus number five, Chris Barnes, former All-American from Wichita State, taking on Brad Angelo, who continues to bowl today. You know what, Rob? You've got a voice that can make a Wolverine purr. I love working with you, man. <laughs> Lord, what have I gotten myself into? Here's Angelo. Start of match one with seven straight strikes. Starts match three with the strike. Angelo locked and loaded. He's got the nice release going with that voodoo spin roll that he's famous for, and his ball's reading the oil pattern perfectly. Watch it come out of the end of the pattern about 44 feet down the lane, and the nice, subtle turn left. Up now, Chris Barnes, 0-2 on television this season, 1-4 in his last four televised appearances, but has the number two overall average this season. He's behind Walter Ray Williams. Oh, how did that stand? Audacious! He got slapped <laughs> silly, didn't know which way to go. And again, another interesting move, completely different line to the pocket for Chris Barnes. Oh, look at the smile on Barnes, staring this one down. I think the best stat on Chris Barnes is since the year 2000, he's tied with Walter Ray Williams Jr. for the most amount of shows in the last seven years with 47. Not since 2000. That's a lot. That smirk on Barnes. If you take a look at his numbers, surrounded by a couple pretty formidable bowlers there. Yeah, there's some pretty big names there. Duke, future Hall of Famer, Ryan Schaefer, who's made a boatload of shows, and Parker Bone III, who's a Hall of Famer. So it's pretty good company. With a win today, Barnes would win a title in seven consecutive seasons. That's nice. He has had some funky leaves today. The 7 10. Well, you know, Chris came up to us before the show started and said the tricky lane will be the left lane because of pin carry, and it's a little tighter down the lane. But hard to believe that Chris would leave pocket 7 10 on a, on a line that straight. There have only been three 7 10 split conversions on television. Do we have number four? Oh. It's a long spot. And again, Barnes is going to be able to jump out to an early, comfortable lead. Rather, Angelo, excuse me. So Barnes starts with a spare and an open frame, nine. Angelo working on a strike. And that's kind of the sign that you... you you start to worry about when a player is playing as deep as Brad is, because of the angle, you start leaving week 10. So that's another adjustment that Brad will have to make as the lanes continue to break down. And this matchup featuring two former rookies of the year, Brad in 03, and Chris Barnes in 98. Likes the left lane, lane seven. And it's interesting because that's the lane that Chris Barnes just left a pocket 7-10 on. Again, Angelo did not bowl the last two weeks due to a bad back. Wasn't planning on bowling this week. Was actually in the area for some meetings. Said, I'm around here. Let me just see how practice goes. He asked his doctor if I bowl, can I re-injure this? Doc said, I don't think so. Give it a crack. And he kind of kept fighting through the week, said, I'm bowling all right, let's, let's keep it going. He 
I asked him what he's taking right now to kind of maintain that back. Some cod liver oil, some mine checks, which sounds like a Midwestern grocery chain, but I think it's a vitamin. Some coconut oil, which I think you can rub onto the skin, but I don't know if he's taking it internally. I don't know, but whatever he's doing is working. If it was just me, I'd, I'd just drop a Celebrex and be done yeah. with it. I mean, <laughs> is there anything better than that anti-inflammatory? Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, if you're Chris Spielman, you're just saying, shoot me up, done. Where, where, where'd I bowl? Put needle here, oh. bowl there. Done and done. Barnes trailing by 12. Third frame, looking for his first strike. Tied for third all time with his fifth back to back to back TV appearance. Tied with the great Mark Roth and Jason Couch. There we go. Blows him up. Yeah, he shreds the rack pretty nice there. Let's take a look at the wonderful physical game of Chris Barnes. See how he's got his hand on the side. He's trying to spin it a little more, a la Brian Himmler, who won back to back here at Vernon Hills. Check out the great balance, the foul line. He's got an incredibly tight thumb hole because he, obviously, number one, that's what feels good to him. But number two, what that does is it keeps him from squeezing it. It makes his release really fast at the bottom of the swing. Jason Couch, who I mentioned, tied for third with Barnes and Mark Roth on that list of back to back to back, has to take a, a deferment. He had knee surgery over the summer. He has not healed from that, so he's deferring his exemption for next season. Get well soon, Jason. Yikes. Wow. Now, wow is about right. Frame number one for Barnes, he left the five standing. The next frame, seven, ten split. Strike, and now three, four, seven, and six are staring at him. So we take a look at our Motel 6. Matchup. Barnes having another strong season, looking for his first title of the season, but has not made a split at all this week. 0 for 13. This is a tough one. Mm, game effort. Right now, Chris Barnes can't buy a break. And Brad Angelo's getting them all. Second open frame of the first four frames for Barnes. Good shot, number four. Good shot, full price. Got this just to the right of the three pin. Goes to throw it over in the four seven. And it goes right in front of the seven pin. Zero breaks through four frames for Chris Barnes. Right now, Brad Angelo's got to be salivating. That's a tasty little number in the fourth. Daddy like. Strike, strike, strikes. We love strikes. Brad Edgel sliding almost even with the left gutter. That's how deep he's playing. Again, Angelo looking for his first career title. He was doing his rehab, kind of stuck on the couch and on the on the bed. And he was telling us last night, Braveheart came on. He's getting all fired up. Then Miracle on Ice. He's all jacked up. He's like, I, I got to get out there. I got I got the, I got the, the fever again to get out and have fun and excel. Now he's got a big challenge. What's the strategy on this pickup? You get the ball over the left side of the four pit. Throw the four over into the nine, and that's really the first bad break that Brad Angelo has received today. Eighteen percent on his split conversions. Four nine pickup. Goes left, misses. Good try. Let's remember that one. barnsey has got life again. Ball just squeaks by the four pin. Right now, Chris Barnes only down by 10 with a double here. He can pull even. 